Well, you know, up to 85% of adults report occasionally having a nightmare. And nightmares are even more common in children peaking around age 10. But why do we have nightmares, and is there anything we can do to prevent them? You know the feeling, waking up in a panic, unsure what's real and what's not. Nightmares are common, and so are the things that trigger these frightening dreams. Stress, anxiety, whether that's due to um, things you have going on in your life that represent more of a stressor or a challenge, things like um, a move, a, a change in a job or loss of a loved one, things like that. Um, all of these kind of unresolved problems that we experience during the day can definitely kind of cross over into our uh, nightmare activity. Dr. Elena Tiani is a sleep psychologist at the Cleveland Clinic. She says nightmares can also be influenced by watching a scary movie, seeing something upsetting on the news or social media, or having a difficult conversation before bed. People with post-traumatic stress disorder may have nightmares, and alcohol, caffeine, and certain medications can also raise your risk. Experts say while you can't always control if you have a nightmare, there are things you can and try to reduce the odds. Those include using stress management techniques and being mindful of the content you're consuming. That's true for probably both adults and kiddos that media exposure, the things that we might read or the videos we might watch, um, just being mindful of the content because anything stressful or overwhelming um, could set us up to potentially, um, they may not cause nightmares but may heighten the risk. Um, that those themes or feelings could be present in our dreams. Now, Dr. Tiani says if your nightmares are frequent, recurrent, or impact your quality of life, it's a good idea to talk with your doctor or a mental health professional. There are different treatment options available.